Welcome to Hypoproliferative Anemias. In this video, we review megaloblastic anemia. We have the following take-home points. Megaloblastic anemia is due to impaired DNA synthesis. B12 deficiency is confirmed by elevated serum methylmalonic acid levels. Before starting folate supplementation, exclude B12 deficiency. Megaloblastic anemia refers to a group of anemias characterized by bone marrow megaloblasts, which are large nucleated red blood cell precursors. Megaloblastic anemia is due to impaired DNA synthesis, which inhibits nuclear division and leads to nuclear cytoplasmic dyssynchrony. In the normal cell, the nucleus and cytoplasm mature normally. In the megaloblast, the cytoplasm matures at the normal rate, while the nucleus with impaired DNA synthesis is not fully mature. This leads to an asynchronous maturation within the erythroblast nucleus and cytoplasm. In the peripheral blood film, you see macrocytic red blood cells and hypersegmented neutrophils. The leading causes of megaloblastic anemia are deficiencies of vitamin B12 and folic acid. Megaloblastic anemia can also be caused by copper deficiency. Congenital causes include thiamine-responsive megaloblastic anemia, intrinsic factor and or receptor deficiency, or congenital folate malabsorption syndrome. Drugs that cause megaloblastic changes include allopurinol, azathioprine, and chemotherapy. Drugs that impact B12 or folate uptake include metformin, valproic acid, and chloramphenicol. Next, we'll discuss the most common causes of megaloblastic anemia, starting with vitamin B12 deficiency. The primary B12 dietary sources are meats, fish, eggs, and dairy products. To be absorbed, B12 needs intrinsic factor, which is produced in gastric parietal cells. B12 binds to intrinsic factor within the duodenum and jejunum. The vitamin B12 intrinsic factor complex is then absorbed in the terminal ileum. The body stores 2 to 3 milligrams of vitamin B12 in the liver, enough to last 2 to 4 years. The most common cause of vitamin B12 deficiency is pernicious anemia due to autoimmune gastric atrophy, leading to decreased intrinsic factor production. B12 deficiency can be seen with decreased intake in alcohol use disorder or malnutrition. It is also seen with impaired absorption in inflammatory bowel disease, pancreatic insufficiency, fish tapeworm infestation, and Zollinger-Ellison syndrome. It can be seen with certain drugs that impair B12 absorption, including anticonvulsants, chemotherapy, proton pump inhibitors, and metformin. Other causes include gastrectomy, bariatric surgery, gastritis, and H. pylori infection. Signs and symptoms include weight loss, pallor, and jaundice. Neurologic symptoms include symmetric paresthesias, numbness, and gait problems or ataxia. Spinal cord demyelination may progress to spasticity and paraplegia. Psychiatric symptoms include dementia, hallucinations, and psychosis. B12 deficiency will eventually lead to pancytopenia and intramedullary hemolysis, demonstrated by decreased haptoglobin, elevated lactate dehydrogenase, decreased articulocyte counts, and indirect hyperbilirubinemia. Diagnosis is supported by decreased B12 levels less than 300 picograms per milliliter and elevated methylmalonic acid levels. Peripheral blood film findings include macrocytosis, macroovalocytes, and hypersegmented neutrophils. Most patients, even those with malabsorption syndromes, will respond to oral B12 supplementation at a dose of 1,000 to 2,000 micrograms per day. Parenteral B12 should be considered in patients with permanently altered GI anatomy from bariatric surgery, gastrectomy, or ileal loop syndrome. Let's turn now to folate deficiency. Folate dietary sources include green vegetables, fruit, meat, and liver. Folate is mainly absorbed in the jejunum. The body stores folate in the liver enough to last about three to four months. Folate deficiency can occur due to decreased intake in the case of alcohol use disorder or malnutrition, increased demand due to pregnancy, hemolysis, and hemodialysis, malabsorption due to celiac disease, jejunal resection, and Crohn's disease, 
Drugs that affect folate metabolism include anticonvulsants and chemotherapy. Establish a diagnosis with a low serum folate measurement. However, a normal level may be unreliable, especially after a meal. An elevated serum homocysteine level has greater than 90% sensitivity and specificity for folate deficiency. Like B12 deficiency, peripheral blood findings include macrocytosis, macroovalocytes, and hypersegmented neutrophils. To treat folate deficiency, first exclude B12 deficiency, then supplement with oral folate at a dose of 1 to 5 mg daily. In summary, megaloblastic anemia is due to impaired DNA synthesis. B12 deficiency is confirmed by elevated serum methylmalonic acid levels. Before starting folate supplementation, exclude B12 deficiency. This ends our video, Hyperproliferative Anemias, Megaloblastic Anemia.